Hey everyone, thanks to learn to play games. My name is Lance, and today I look at a brand new game on Kickstarter called Desolated. This is a new one from Antithesis Games. It is a one to six player game that takes roughly 30 to 60 minutes to play. It is a competitive game where the players are competing against each other to build up their engines and be the first to purchase three landmarks. At the end of that turn, the player that has the most points will be the overall winner of the game. So in this video, I'll be playing through the game, showing you the first, middle, and end couple rounds to show you how the game plays and progresses to help you decide whether or not this is one you want to back on Kickstarter. If you're just interested in seeing the main features of the game and a sample turn, I'll also have a link up in the top corner to my overview video where I'll cover those features. As always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce this content. If you want to see the end of all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new videos. So let's head to the table and I'll show you how this one plays. One final note before moving into the game is that all the materials you see here are prototype materials and are subject to change and will look a lot better in the final production copy. From there, I'm going to go ahead and move into the game, starting with this player's turn first. And during each player's turn, it's broken down into three phases the draw phase, action phase, and status phase. And this is done in order. When that player has completed their turn, it'll move to the next player in clockwise order. So we're going to go ahead and start with this player's turn during their draw phase, where they're going to draw two material cards. They can do this either from the material cards that are face up, they can do it from a blind draw, or a mix of the two. So my player here has a couple of different cards already, and I'm going to go ahead and take this one here, and then I'll go ahead and do a blind draw off the top of the deck. From there, then I'm going to move into my action phase where I'll take one of the different actions, or I must perform one action, and there are five different ones I can choose from. The upgrade, trade, earn, harvest, or pass. The upgrade will allow me to play a card from my hand into my play area, building my engine or adding a new engine. The trade action will allow me to purchase an archive card by spending resources from my hands or and or resources from my engines that i can convert by playing cards from them and i'll show you that later in the video the earn action will allow me to spend archive cards that i've gathered in my area to purchase a land card and add it to my area the harvest will allow me to take another card from the material face up deck here and the final action is to pass, so if I choose to not perform an action during my turn, I can to choose to pass. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by doing a, I'm going to do a uh, trade action. This will allow me to build a, start building my engine, so I'm going to place this card here. And then during my status phase, first off, I have to make sure that I, ha I don't have more than seven cards in my hand. If I do, I'll discard down to seven cards. Then I'll refill any of the areas that I purchased cards or drew cards from. And then it'll move over to the next player's turn if any of the endgame conditions have not been triggered yet. So then I'll move over to my player over here. And that player is going to... I'm going to go ahead and take this card here. And I will take this card here. From there, then I'll move into my turn, and I'm going to go ahead and play a card. So I'm going to go ahead and play this one here to start building an engine. And then again, during the status phase, this will be refreshed. So I'll add these cards, and it'll move back over to my player over here. So with this player, again, I get to draw up, and let's see. I will go ahead and take this card here, and I'll go ahead and do a blind draw off the top. Okay, so then I am into my action phase, so I can choose to do an action. So I am going to go ahead and again upgrade so that I can add a card to build my engine. So that will be added there. And then my status phase, again, I will refill, passing it back over to my other player. So again, I will draw. So I will take this one here, and I'll go ahead and take one off the top. All right, then back into my action phase, I'm gonna go ahead and build again, and I will do this one here, connecting these two location or two material cards to build my engine. From there, then I again, I will move into the status phase where I'm gonna refresh the decks, and that'll end that player's turn. So from here, I'm going to take a few turns off camera so that we can get a little bit later into the game, and we'll be back to see how our players are doing. 
Moving back into it, our players have been able to pick up an Archime card apiece, and they're starting to build up their engines. So we're back over to the first player to go. So that player is going to start off. I'll take this card here, and I'll add this one here. From there, then I'm going to go ahead and build. So I'm going to go ahead and start a second engine. So I'm going to place that one down there as my action. And then my status phase, again, I will refresh and add these cards back. Moving back over to my second player here. I'm going to take this one here. And I will take one of these. From there, I'm going to do a trade action. So I'm going to spend those and these to purchase this card here. So I'll add that to my area, and these will be discarded. And that's it. So over to status, I'll refill. Moving back over to our first player. That player is going to first draw. I'm going to take this, and I'll take one off the top. From there, I'm going to go ahead and do a urn. So I'm going to spend this to get... I will pick this one up here. So this will be added to my area, and that's my first land. And this will be discarded to the discard pile. So I'll shift that over. That will end that player's turn with the status phase, placing that there. And then with this card, its ability lets me store another land card under, under it and boost its value up to 12. So I don't have another land card to do that with at the moment. Otherwise, I could have done that there. All right, so back over to our player here. That player is going to... We'll draw these two here. And then in that player's action phase, again, that player will also... Let me replace that land that I forgot to do last time. So with that player, I will... I don't know if I like those lands that are out there at the moment. So let me see here. What can I do? I will go ahead and do a harvest to gain this one here. And that will end that player's turn. And again, we'll refill. Moving back over to my first player, I am going to... And I forgot to discard down, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that real quick here before I move on. So I will discard... I'm going to discard this card here. All right, so then it's going to move into my turn where I'm going to draw back my two my hands. So I'm going to draw this one here, and I'll take this one here. From there, I will go ahead and do a trade action. So I'm going to purchase that location there. And in order to do that, I have... I will play this here to activate this part of the chain. So I'll convert that into the two pink crystals that I need. And then I will do a pink crystal to activate this one and convert it over to those two other crystals that I need. So now I have, I need one more of those and I need one more of these. So that'll take care of that. And these will be discarded and I'll gain this one here. So that'll go down to my area. So then again, I will refill. And it'll move over to the second player again. So that player, again, is going after that one there. So I will go ahead and gain this card. And I will take this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and play those. So I'm going to spend that, this one, and that one so that I can purchase that. That'll be added to my area. And then I'll go ahead and refill. I will go ahead and spend this. Well, first off, I have to do draw. So I will draw this one here, and I'll do a blind draw. And then I'll go ahead and spend this 
to purchase this location here. So that's my second location that I have now. And with this one, I can add Cayenne to it to gain additional points at the end of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will store that underneath there. So that is during my status phase. And then we'll go ahead and replenish the locations. And we'll move back over to the second player. So that player is going to need to do something here. I am going to take this card here and I'll do a blind draw off the top. And then during my turn, I'm going to go ahead and spend these here to gain this one. And then for this one, I get plus one for every two material that I store here. So I can store those at the end of my turn. So I'm going to store one during this turn. So I'll place one there. And that will end that player's turn with the refresh. All right, so at this point, I'm going to take a couple more turns off camera. And we'll be back towards the end of the game to see how our players have finished off. Okay, so we're back to finish the game and see how things turn out. So back into my player's turn here, that player will take this card here and I will take this one here. From there, I am going to spend my archive to purchase a location. So I will pick up this one here and add this to my area. From there, then I will end my turn by storing a card and replenishing the locations. Now that is the third location, so that triggers the end of the game. So my the second player will get one final turn, and then the game will end, and they'll total up the points. So moving back over to this player, they spent all of their tokens last time, or all their cards, to be able to make those purchases. So from there, I am going to simply draw two cards. And then I have to choose which location I want to purchase. So I am going to go ahead and spend this to pick up this location here. And then I will, at the end, uh, during my status phase, I'm going to go ahead and store an archive under it. And then refill, not that it's necessary. From there, then we'll move into the end of the game. So first off, I'll move over to this player over here. So they get 12 points for that. They get another eight for that, so that's 20. And then I pick up three more for each of the cards that I store under here, so that I have two, so 26. And 12 more for 28 and 38. So this player ends with 38 points. And we'll move over to our other player here, who has 16 points and 12 for 28. And then I get eight points for every Archon store under there, so 28 and eight is going to be 36. And this one gets me plus one point for each of the materials that's under there divided by two. I was only able to store one. So he is going to end with 36 points where my other player had 38. So it was a very close game, but the player over here was able to, to win with just a couple of extra points from those locations under there potentially. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below or swing by the Kickstarter's main page and drop any questions you have there as well. I'm sure the creators would love to hear from you and are more than happy to answer any questions you have. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do appreciate it and I take into account everything you say to make the best possible videos. Until next time, I'll see you later.